you don't want holes in your socks. We're talking about security operation centers, of course. A security operation center, or SOC, is a command center facility where information security experts monitor, analyze, and respond to threats facing an organization. They're used in industries like healthcare, finance, education, government, and more, with the goal of keeping an organization secure. Here, we'll explain how SOCs operate and why they're important. To dig deeper on all things cybersecurity, click the link above or in the description below. And remember to subscribe to Ion Tech for more videos on all things business tech. SOC teams are responsible for tasks like asset management, behavioral monitoring, activity logs, defense development and evolution, incident recovery, and more. They make sure any suspicious activity or system vulnerabilities are caught and reported so they can be addressed as quickly as possible. To ensure systems are never left unprotected, most SOCs operate 24-7, with employees working in shifts. So who exactly works on a SOC team? Common roles include a Chief Information Security Officer, or CISO, a SOC Manager, Forensic Investigator, Threat Hunter, Compliance Analyst, SIM Manager, and other security personnel. While not every organization has a SOC, it improves overall detection and prevention processes and helps an organization quickly respond to intrusions and minimize the costs of a potential data breach. To fit specific business needs, organizations can choose from a variety of SOC models, including dedicated, or an on-premises facility with in-house staff, distributed, which combines in-house staff with third-party managed security service providers, managed, where all services are provided by managed security service providers, fusion, where members work with other enterprise teams like IT ops or DevOps, and several others. Ideally, an organization will choose a model that balances security effectiveness, cost considerations, and operational efficiency. To get the most out of a SOC, consider these best practices. Establish policies and procedures, and make sure they comply with the organization's standards and regulations. Combine automation tools with skilled analysts to improve efficiency and turnaround times. Provide ongoing training to stay on top of emerging threats. Set up operational protocols to ensure a fast, consistent response. And collect as much relevant data as possible, as often as possible. Does your organization use a SOC? Let us know what model you use and how it's affected your business. And remember to like and subscribe too.